To use local volumetric fog, you need Unity HDRP, High Definition Render Pipeline. Right click in the hierarchy view, go to rendering and select local volumetric fog. You can either click the edit button or press shift plus one and resize it. As you can see, it is currently empty and uh, nothing is rendering. This may be due to two reasons. First, uh, if you want to use local volumetric fog, you should enable global fog and volumetric fog. Now we can observe that uh, it works well. However, uh, it may not work for you. So make sure to check your HDRP settings in lighting and volumetrics. Ensure that uh, volumetric fog is checked. That's it. Uh, now everything should work okay. Experiment with settings. For example, you can adjust color, blend distance, or use uh, per axis control. Or uh, set the fall off mode to linear or exponential. And uh, configure distance fade or blending mode. Increasing the fog distance will enhance the density of our fog. Additionally, there is a mask texture you can create on your own or use the sample Unity package. Navigate to the HDRP package and in the samples, you will find the volumetric sample. Download and import it into your project. Explore the various samples with descriptions. It has a lot to offer. You can also use these uh, 3D textures from samples for your fog. If your fog is clipping and you want to show more distance, enable volumetric fog distance in the global volume and set it to according to your preference. The last step I want to show you is to remove part of the fog. Create another local volumetric fog, uh, set the color to pure black fog distance to a large number and blending mode to multiply. Ensure the priority is higher than the main fog. This will remove part of the fog in case of clipping. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out other tips and tutorials uh, and subscribe for future videos and have a great day.